Hello, this is Nathaniel Oxford with another video tutorial for orchestra karate for violin. This is the Brown Belt tutorial, and the Brown Belt song is Ode to Joy, written uh, a couple hundred years ago by Beethoven, and a very familiar song to a lot of people, using a lot of different contexts and places in popular culture, in media, in movies. And um, if you have never heard this song, then uh, great, uh, you're going to learn it now. If you know this song, one thing you're going to have to be careful is uh, when you play a song that you're familiar with, uh, if you're playing it off of sheet music, the sheet music might be written a little bit different from how you know the song, right? There's a lot of different versions of the same song. And so um, be careful in here that you're reading the notes, uh, that's the pitches and the rhythms, off the page as they're written and not just playing it from ear. It's great to play from ear, but if you play from what you have in your head and somebody else in our group plays from what they have in their head and somebody else plays from what they have in their head, you might not all be playing the same notes and the same rhythm. So typically in uh, a year, uh, our groups at school would play this song twice and they would play it uh, one version of it for one concert and a different version of it for a different concert when we do the regional concert. And there's uh, there are several rhythms that are different in the two versions. And there is one note that I can think of that's different between the two versions. One's, one's an E and one's an F sharp. So just be careful of that. So as you go through this one, the beginning starts on the third note of the scale. And it's all scale. Stepwise, so it's all scalar. You just add a finger, add a finger, take away a finger, take away a finger, add a couple fingers, and then poof, you're done with the phrase. Uh, the next phrase is almost exactly like that phrase. It just ends with uh, two different notes. Instead of F sharp and E, it ends with E and D, but all the other notes are the same in it. And then the third phrase, let's talk about that in a sec. But the fourth phrase is exactly the same as the second phrase. So it's like you have this A section, an A section with a slightly different ending. So let's call it A prime. And then at the end, you have A prime again. In the middle, you have the uh, bridge section, the B section. And that part, um, that part's where people sometimes get hung up on. And this is where a lot of different versions of the song happen. So let me play this whole thing once through, and then we'll go back and break it down and give you some practice strategies for each of the phrases in it. All right, beginning. One, two, three, go. There were some spots in there where you said, oh, I hear it in my head a little bit differently. And if so, that's pretty cool. Um, in that, that third phrase where I said it's different a lot of times, sometimes I hear, um, I hear, uh, so it goes like this. Sometimes I hear it like this. With a slur in there, you know, where you connect two bows. Sometimes I hear it uh, instead of, I hear it like this. And sometimes I hear it uh, instead of this. I hear it like this. So a lot of different versions of it. Uh, the first phrase, let's go through the first phrase. F sharp, F sharp, G, A, A, G, F sharp, E, D, D, E, F sharp, F sharp, E. Okay. Uh, you might hear it in your head as this but that's not what's on the page for this song. So you gotta play it half note, half note. 
if you're playing it as a solo and you want to change it up to that other rhythm, maybe you're a little bit more familiar with the other rhythm or you like it better, or maybe just for that one performance you do, then you know, go ahead and play it the way you want to. But if you're going to play it in a group, make sure everybody's playing the same version and the same notes and the same rhythm so that it sounds together with good ensemble. All right, let's go through these notes. Um, say them with me or pluck along. One, two, ready, go. F sharp, F sharp, G, A, A, G, F sharp, E, D, D, E, F sharp, F sharp, E. Now, did you notice that I played it with fourth finger A again? And why did I do that? Yeah, hopefully you know that all the other notes are on the D string. So if I play A with fourth finger on the D string, then I get to stay on that same string and I don't have to do string crossing. So that's why I do that. I just, I add a finger all the way up because it's a scale and then I add, take away fingers, go back down to D, add a finger, add another finger, and then I'm at the end of the phrase. So it's just adding one finger at a time or subtracting one finger at a time. Let's do that. Uh, let's do that one more time. I'll pluck it this time. One, two, ready, go. F sharp, F sharp, G, A, A, G, F sharp, E, D, D, E, F sharp, F sharp, E. Yeah, the next line is exactly the same thing, except instead of F sharp and E, it's E, D, right? Doesn't that sound more at home? F sharp, E, it really wants to go to D. And in the second phrase, it gets to it's like it, it's like you're almost there, and then we're gonna go back and do it again, and then ah, oh, we're there. But then we're gonna go on a voyage and take this uh, B section. So let's do the second line uh, or the second phrase: F sharp, F sharp, G, A, A, G, F sharp, E, D, D, E, F sharp, E, D. One, two, ready, go. here let's go down and play the fourth line the fourth phrase it's exactly the same as the second phrase one two ready go yes now let's go play the third phrase okay there's a little skip in the first measure so it goes e F sharp, D, without an E in between, right? So, E, two fingers and then no fingers. E, F sharp, D. You might have heard it once before, but that's not how it is here. It is a down bow. Like that. Half note, quarter, quarter, E, F sharp, D. So make sure you're playing what's on the page. And then we're going to go... E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, D. Notice I'm fingering and air bowing at the same time. That's a practice strategy. So the second measure of the third phrase, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, D. I might have to convert over to saying carp and farp um, because that's a very fast F sharp here. E, farp, G, farp, D. E, farp, G, farp, D. That was actually helpful to me to do that. Even though I've played this like a whole bunch of times, but actually saying the note names and air bowing it. If you didn't do it that time, do it again with me. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. E, farp, G, farp, D. One, it starts with an up bow. One, two, ready, go. Yeah, and then the measure after that is the same. And one thing you could do in here too is you could practice uh, just the eighth, eighth quarter, quarter, starting on F sharp. And then add the E. 
right? Because it's getting your finger, you te- what you're doing essentially is you're teaching your fingers where to go and in what order to go, and then putting it all together. The next measure, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, See, I wasn't ready for that, was I? Down, up, down, up, down. And then... Um, let's do each of those measures. Let's do the down bow measure. E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E. And then we'll do... D, E, A. So let's do the second to last measure of the phrase. E, farp, G, farp, E. Start it on a down bow. So it's going to be E, farp, G, farp, E. One, two, and ready, go. Do it again. that measure again starting on an up bow d e a ready go let's see if we can play the two measures in a row with eighth notes starting on an up bow e f sharp g f sharp d e f sharp g f sharp e and we'll stop one two ready go Now, before this, uh, our whole memory cloud here, maybe you, you, if if you're like ready to ah, throw my violin out the window, then go ahead and pause this video. Maybe go grab some water or maybe just dig in and practice a little bit and then let's start it back up. We're going to play this whole third phrase. E, F sharp, D, E, farp, G, farp, D, E, farp, G, farp, E, D, E, A. Okay, ready? Let's pluck it. One, two, and ready, go. Do a tiny bit slower. One, two, and ready, go. phrase is the same as the first one so let's play the whole thing together here we go whoa um try to if you're gonna play along with this try to keep going no matter what if you mess something up keep going okay one two oh one two ready go song.